It is President's Day. What was originally intended to celebrate George Washington's birthday has turned into a three day weekend celebrating all 46 U.S. presidents. Last month, we dedicated a whole show to the former presidents who helped shape and continue to be a part of Idaho history, like Abraham Lincoln, who officially recognized Idaho as a territory in 1863. Benjamin Harrison, whose quick trip to the city of trees in 1891 left a big impression, so much so that they, the city named a street after him. Pretty well known street. And then there's Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and George Washington, who all have Idaho counties named after them. But did you know that in its 130 year history, Idaho has only had one legitimate president or resident, I should say, run for president? Just one. On March 18th, 1967, former Idaho Senator Frank Church announced his plans to run for president as a Democrat. That announcement, as you can see there, coming on the steps of the Idaho City uh, Hall there, in this, uh, the county courthouse, I should say the Boise County Courthouse in Idaho City. He won primaries in Idaho, Montana, Oregon, as probably could be expected, but even Nebraska before dropping out of the race to endorse the eventual president, Jimmy Carter. He died in 1984 at the age of 57 and is buried at Morris Hill Cemetery near former Senator William Bora. Church is the last Democrat to have represented Idaho in the U.S. Senate. And a little more presidential trivia for you. Do you know that every modern president since Lyndon Johnson in 1964, with the exception of one, made a stop in Idaho while in office. I'll let you guess which one that is. Since Idaho became a state in 1890, only three presidents never made the trip. That'd be William McKinley, Calvin Coolidge, and Donald Trump.